Hi everyone, today we're going to read How the Lemur Got Her Tail by Mary Hoffman. Long ago, before there was you, before there was me, before there were any other people in the world, Lemur lived in Africa. She was gray all over then with a long bushy gray tail which she held high above her head like a flag. The other animals could always see her coming as she walked across the forest floor. Good morning, Lemur, called Chameleon, flicking out his long sticky tongue. Where are you off to this hot sunny morning? I'm going across the water, said Lemur, where the baboa trees are shady and the sweet figs grow. Why don't you come too? So the chameleon followed after. He was slower than Lemur, but he didn't get lost because he could always see her bushy tail. Up in the air flew Red Kingfisher. Good morning, Lemur, he sang. Where are you and chameleon, chameleon off to this hot, sunny morning? We're going across the water, said Lemur. Where the rivers are cool and the flowers shine bright in the dark green forest, why don't you come too? So the red kingfisher went with them. He could fly much faster than they could walk, but he didn't lose them because he could always see Lemur's bushy tail waving above the grass. Green boa snake was slithering across the forest floor. Good morning, Lemur, she hissed. Where are you and chameleon and red kingfisher off to this hot and sunny morning? We're going across the water, said Lemur, where the rain is warm and the nights are cool. Why don't you come too? So the green boa snake joined them. She could move quickly, even though she had no legs. And if she lost them, she could slink up a tree and look for Lemur's bushy tail. As they passed a tree branch, the golden, tiny golden frog croaked. Good morning, Lemur. Where are you going with chameleon, red kingfisher, and green boa snake? This hot, sunny morning. We're going across the water, said Lemur, where the mountains are red and the great bamboo grows up to the sky. Why don't you come too? So Tiny Golden Frog joined them, leaping from tree to tree with his long, strong back legs and looking for the gray flag that was Lemur's tail. Pansy Butterfly darted back and forth in the warm morning air, fluttering her gorgeous blue wings. Good morning, Lemur, she chirped. Where are you going with Chameleon? Red Kingfisher, Green Boa Snake, and tiny golden frog this hot sunny morning. We're going across the water, said Lemur, where the bees make honey from orchids and the wild ginger grows. Why don't you come too? So Pansy Butterfly flitted above the other animals, keeping an eye on Lemur's tail. Suddenly, all the animals noticed that Lemur had stopped. She'd come to the edge of the water. The others stopped too and looked at the land across the water that was so full of good things. It's all very well for Red Kingfisher and Pansy Butterfly, said Chameleon doubtfully, but how are the rest of us going to get across? The water looks very wide and deep to me. It is, said Lemur, but look again. There are little islands and ridges under the water all the way across. You'll be there in a leap, skip, and jump. And to show that she was right, she leaped into the water, waving her bushy tail to keep her balance as she hopscotched her way across to the other side. All the others followed one by one. It was the easiest for Tiny Golden Frog and hardest for Green Boa Snake, but they all got to the other side in the end. The warm sun soon dried them out and Lemur led her way to her favorite places. They all found Good things to eat, berries and nuts and nectar. It was midday by then and everyone was feeling full and hot and sleepy. Lemur stretched out in the shade of the baboa tree. She was so full of figs that she forgot to keep her tail out of the hot sun. She stayed awake just long enough to curl her paws around her eyes to keep out the glare. Then she fell asleep into a deep sleep. When everyone woke up, it was late and long it was late and long, long shadows of the evening were falling through the green forest. We must go back, croaked the tiny gold frog. Where's Lemur? She must show us the way. 
There she is, said Pansy Butterfly. She's still asleep. I'll go down and wake her up. And the beautiful butterfly, blue butterfly, flew down and perched on Lemur's nose. So tickly were her little feet that Lemur woke up with a sneeze. Pansy Butterfly flew away in alarm. What's happened to your face, Lemur, she shrieked. And oh, what's the matter with your tail? All the animals crowded around to see what had happened to Lemur in her sleep. The fierce sun had broken through the trees and bleached her face white. Around her eyes, where she had shaded them with her paws, there were two big black circles. And her long bushy tail, which had been stretched out on the floor's floor, was now striped black and white. Black where the shade of the branches had protected some bits from the sun, white where the sun's powerful midday rays had shone down and bleached it. Lemur led them all down to the water so that she could look at her reflection. She turned this way and that and waved her tail around. It's not bad, you know, Lemur, his green bow snake. We'll be able to see where you are even better now. Yes, said Red Kingfisher, and now you should lead the others back over the water. But something else happened while the animals were asleep. The water was deeper and wider, and all the little water underwater islands and ridges had disappeared. The animals couldn't go back. Red Kingfisher and Pansy Butterfly could have flown over the water, but they decided to stay with their friends. They are all living there still. After all, the great island across the water from Africa was full of good things. Its name was Madag Madagascar, and ring-tailed lemur still runs across the forest floor there, holding up her tail like a flag for all her family and friends to see.